Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to show you how to launch a WordPress website using DigitalOcean for $5 a month, and we're going to do it all in 10 minutes. Uh, I've just launched my blog uh, because I want to do some training videos on how to use WordPress on DigitalOcean. I'm $5 version, you'll see it's pretty quick, it's happy, it worked. And then I'm going to show you in the next video how to secure it. So the next thing, once you've launched your blog, you're going to want to make it secure up here. It's just a good thing to do for um, a little bit of better search rankings. And if you're selling stuff e-commerce wise, you have to have a secure website, right? So DigitalOcean, first thing, if you haven't signed up for DigitalOcean, go to pnuk.co forward slash DigitalOcean. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video so you can see it. I get a little bit of credit for um, sending you their way. So it, it takes a little bit of um, money off my bill each month if people sign up with my affiliate link. So pnuk.co forward slash digital ocean. Thanks. So the first thing you're going to log in once you signed up and you do create. Create a droplet. We're going to create a one click app. So click one click apps and down the bottom here is WordPress 16.04. Yours will be higher if you're looking um, further down the line. If it's, if it's uh, you know, I'll, you know, further on, you know what I mean? It'll go up. <laughs> so I'm going to pick the $5 version, as we said, $5 WordPress. If you think you need more juice, if you think you're going to have need more space, but for setup, um, you can always grow it later. If it's not big enough for you, you can grow it later. So one gigabyte, 25 gigabyte um, uh, disk space, five bucks a month, right? I would enable backups. Uh, just because obviously it's going to back up for you. You don't want to have to go through everything. To start weekly, it only does it once a week though. In the data center, you're going to want to choose the data center closest to your customers, to the people who are viewing your website. For me, I'm gonna this. Uh, I'm gonna do this for my um, funnel launcher website. I'm gonna put a blog on funnel launcher. So most people, I think, will be in America. I'm gonna use this New York one because it's close. It's for me, it's close to me and it's close to America. Whereas maybe San Fran might be a busier one. Turn monitoring off so you, on so you can see stuff. And then down the bottom here, just give it a name. So I'm going to call it Funnel Launcher Blog. And then select a project. It doesn't really matter, but if you've got bunched up, if you've got bunched up projects like, uh, you know, I've got a, a forum and a website and something else within DigitalOcean, you might want to keep things together. But I'll just put this in the pull project. You can move them around as well later. So, that, so we're all straight, right? So let me just go back through. $5 a month plan. I've enabled backups. I've chosen the data center closest to me. Uh, I've turned monitoring on. I've given it a name. And then I create. So it'll, it does it pretty quick. The, the WordPress one doesn't seem to take very long at all. I'll put a link to this instruction on how to do it as well. Uh, so what you have to do is, is once you set up, you need to then point your blog to that, your domain to that IP address, and you just need to do some setups to activate WordPress. So we've actually got to this point here. We've created the droplet, and now we need to check it's working. So once that's gone, it's going to give me an IP address, which I copy, and I should get that DigitalOcean shark. Come on, don't prove me wrong now. Here it comes. Come on, baby. I might have done it a little bit quick. Yeah. Nope, didn't work. Let's have a go again. There you go. So we get the we get the digital ocean shot. The droplet is set up. Right? So now what I need to do is activate WordPress in this droplet. So access access droplet via enable configuration, right? So you need to open terminal and log in to your um, account. Let me just turn mine off. So on a Mac, I go Utilities, Terminal. I think on Windows, you just go to, to, to the, um, is it like a start or a, a search in the bottom left corner and type in Terminal and it'll find the Terminal app uh, and you just open it, right? So now I'm going to go here. I've got an email from DigitalOcean saying, this is your IP address and this is your password. So I'm going to grab this IP address. I'm going to do SSH root at that password, uh, sorry, that IP address is going to say, do you want to continue? Yes, I do. What's your password? I go back to the email, grab the password. 
I put in the password, it gives me some spiel. Uh, are you ready to go? Changing password for root, so you want to put your own password in. So you put the you put the original password in first, and then you put in yours. So I'm going to put in my password, trying to do it correctly without reading it out loud, which I've done on a few videos. Uh, WordPress has been enabled, right? So now WordPress is switched on. So when I go back to that IP address on the, uh, so I, we're up to a configuring WordPress, right? So when I go back here and refresh this, I'm gonna get a WordPress wizard page now, an install page, right? So I'm gonna go through English United States. Title is, um, title is the funnel launcher blog. Username, Paul. Uh, I'll save this because you'll see what I type if I don't. Put in my email address. Dot com. Don't want to tick this unless you don't want search engines to find you. Install WordPress. WordPress has been installed. It's going to save my password and I'm going to log in, right? Paul, oh, password I've just saved. And I'm in. So now the only thing left to do is point the domain name. So at the moment, here's the site, but it's on the IP address, right? We want that IP address to be, uh, we want the domain name to show up now. So what I do, I'm going to do funnel launcher. So I come into GoDaddy or wherever your hosting is. You find your uh, domain name, wherever you're doing it, go to DNS settings. If, if you're doing it on the root domain, if you want this to be, if I wanted this to be funnellauncher.com, I would change this to just be the at. But I want it to be blog.funnellauncher.com, right? So what I have to do is add a new A record, type in blog, or whatever you want it to be, dot your domain.com, if it's, you know, news dot, or uh, what, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, info dot, whatever it is and then you're going to go back and grab your IP address right so it is that it's that one up there if I go back to my email it's this one All right uh, what am I doing right back to here so a record blog points to that IP address I'm gonna change this to 600 just so it picks up faster and I save it right so now if I go to blog.funnellauncher.com Blog dot funnel launcher dot com. I get the I get that I get to the blog right. And if I go to, oh no I haven't saved the password ever. I can't remember what the password was. Oh well. Um. So I'm I'm already logged in over here, aren't I? Ah, no, I've logged out. It's changed me in it. Uh. So, so what I'll do is I'll reset the password and come back to you. Because the one last thing we need to do is just tell tell WordPress that we need to point the, the domain inside WordPress to what we've just set up, right? So just give me a second to reset the password. All right, so I log back in. What I've got up here, though, is still the um, IP address. I want to change this so it all defaults to blog.funnellauncher.com, right? So I come here. I, sorry, I go to settings, if I was here then, go to settings, and then I just need to change this to what I want it to be, blog.funnellauncher.com, blog.funnellauncher.com, uh, let me just make sure I've done that right, blog dot, blog dot, and I'm going to save it, it probably will kick me out, yep. Yeah. But now you'll see up at the top, blogfunnellauncher.com. So if I go back to, I've now got, it's defaulted. Everything I click on, if I go to hello world, will be blog.funnellauncher.com. If I go to log in, and log in with my new password, which uh, hopefully I've done the first time right there. I've now got, when I log in, it says blog.funnellauncher.com. So now you've got a live working WordPress website, $5 a month, backed up once a week. Um, 
I think it's pretty fast. I don't I don't think there's anything you need more than that. But you can always on DigitalOcean go in and resize if you're not getting enough juice. If you're getting more people or you you think your website needs a bit more power, then you can just upgrade. You basically have to pause. You have to turn off. You turn off your your website for five minutes. You so you have to power it down. Then you resize it. So you can't you can't resize without it being on. Uh, you resize it, upgrade it, and uh, power it back up. So that's a five dollar a month WordPress blog sorted. What I'm now going to do is show you in the next video. I'm going to do it in a separate video because people will be googling how to do this. How do I now secure it? So when I go to uh, blog dot uh, you'll see at the top here you get a little your connection to the site is not secure so if if people are browsing your site in coffee shops or something it may it, you know it might say this is not a private website this is you know be careful about logging in because you're not secure so we're going to put an SSL certificate on that but I'll put a link in the next video uh, in the link below just so you can see where it is any questions you know where I am paulnicholson.com jump in come to my forum uh, come to my forum or my blog dive in ask questions I'm always here to help so I hope that helped finally again if you if you've got this far but you're thinking about signing up with DigitalOcean pnuk.co forward slash DigitalOcean is my affiliate link uh, and that gets me a little bit of change you know, it gets me a little bit of money off my bill with DigitalOcean thanks guys